Hey guys, it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I am super duper excited to be continuing on my reactions to Eurovision 2018. In this video I'm going to be reacting to Romania's entry called Goodbye by the Humans. I am excited because Romania is one of those like golden child kind of countries where I just feel like they can do no wrong. So without further ado, let's get right into reacting. Oh. It's very striking. It's been a long time since I watched this. You see the people with the masks and everything. It's very freaky. You know, I think for a lot of people, this could be like creepy. You know what I mean? The people with the masks. I know they're kind of trying to replicate kind of the mannequins in the background, but it was just, it's a little bit weird. She has a beautiful voice, though. Doesn't feel weak at all, even though she's kind of, like, singing at a deeper register. Like, even that was kind of, like... It's a little bit weird. Yeah, all of this is a little bit too, like, choreographed. You guys know I've talked about, in a lot of the um, entries in this year, the distinguishing factors between, like, either looking super-duper choreographed choreographed like with maybe Jessica's performance or looking like it's just natural like with Elaney's performance. This is one that seems very like robotic like I'm doing my choreography. Yes that voice. Yes the hair flip bitch. Yes. We're rocking out. I love the band. I love whenever there's a band on stage. And I actually like the mannequins. It make, it really fills up the stage. I just wish they didn't try to make the guitar. Like, I wish the guitarists didn't have those masks. And I love the dress. I think the purple dress is so beautiful. It just has enough unique factor to be, like, really fashionable. But it still looks very classy. Oh, the cello. I love a good string. Yes. Hear me cry, bitch. Don't cry. Oh. I really, really love this entry. Oh, why am I getting teary eyed? That vocal was really, really good. I like it right now. Even, I mean, I don't really like the, like, robotic. I don't know. I don't think that that fixes, or, uh, I don't feel like it really goes with the message of the song. And it's a little bit just, like, off-putting. That's beautiful, though. Like, all the mannequins behind. I think that is gorgeous. And those vocals were flawless. Like, those vocals were truly perfection. Like, that sounded like the studio track. That was really, really beautiful. I feel like I understand why they didn't qualify, though they were one of the ones I really, really wanted to qualify, and I was really sad when they didn't. So something about this song that I want to say is that when I first heard it, I did not like it. I remember back in 2018 when it won its national selection, I was like, oh, I really don't like that. And I was like, really, like, was disappointed because I really loved Romania in Eurovision, and I was like, I'm not a big fan of this song. However, over time, it won. Events happened in my life. I don't know if I've ever talked about it on my channel. I feel like I was saving it for like when I filmed this video because I just remember whenever this song won its national select and like a couple weeks later or something like that, like my father passed away and this song became like kind of the song that I listened to all of the time and it kind of connected to me I feel like the song is more about a relationship, like a love relationship. Um, but I took it as like almost like a song about you having to say goodbye to somebody, whether or not it be like breaking up with somebody or saying goodbye because they're passing away. Obviously, I took it as, you know, saying goodbye because they passed away. And that was something that I was just dealing with a lot. And it just kind of coincided with when I started listening to this song. And it just it made me fall in love with it a lot more because I started to love the message. I think that it's it's a it's a message that I've had to deal with 
a lot in the past year. I went through a breakup. I went through losing my father. I went through another death in my family. And it's been like a lot that has weighed on me um, a lot over the past year. And so a song like this, it really was something that I don't think I would have had such a connection to the song depending on the circumstances. But because it coincided with that situation, it really made me fall in love with it even more. And so like whenever she just screams goodbye, it like it hits me in my chest because it's like that mixed with the angstiness of kind of the rock. It's like angry, like, ugh, I'm pissed that I have to say goodbye to my father or whoever it is that you're saying goodbye to, to my boyfriend, to whatever. And it, it just, it really like, I don't know, it gets me emotional whenever the song comes on. So like for that reason, I just have like a connection to it. And so, I don't know, I just really thought this was a beautiful entry and I was really sad when in May it didn't end up qualifying because I just thought it was really beautiful. Now watching a year later, I will say, I think that vocally she was on point perfect, like perfect. I think that visually the issue is that I feel like the performance was awkward and it was a little bit weird and off-putting with the mannequins. The thing is a lot of people have like fears of like mannequin heads and stuff like that and so I feel like it was probably like creepy and people were like why are y'all doing this? I think it would have been a lot better if they just had the black mannequins, no mask on the mannequins, no mask on the background singers and I think it would have looked cool. I don't know if the band was just being more fluid. They weren't doing the weird like stop we're posing like a mannequin because that really has nothing to do with the song. So I don't see why that was necessary other than I thought it was like I feel like it was one of those things where somebody was like let's let's put mannequins on the stage. It's gonna fill up the stage. We can only have six people. Let's put mannequins so we can have as many people as we want. But they rolled with the idea too far. You know what I mean? And then they were like and how about everybody act like mannequins and just freeze. Like, it was a little bit like, I don't know, that was a little bit much. Still a beautiful song. I still It's one of the ones I really do listen to a lot because of that emotional connection to it. So yeah, guys, that is it for my reaction to Romania's entry for Eurovision 2018. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you thought about their entry this year. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other video that I do. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at MaxRainbow so you don't miss out on any posts, polls, live streams, anything like that. If you would like to donate to my channel, my Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal will all be in the description down below. And yeah, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye.